a huge, exclusive surprise announcement, and here it is, everyone. I'm going back on tour. So it'll likely become the highest grossing tour ever. <laughs> The tour is called the Eras Tour. Her shows are expected to near one and a half billion dollars. And it's a journey through all of my musical eras of my career. That would make Swift a member of the Billionaires Club. But when the queue opened up to finally buy tickets for Taylor Swift's upcoming stadium tour. They're in my car. Her fans went from freaking out <laughs> to melting down. They waited in line. Tell you right now this is a joke. I'm kind of panicked. We had 14 million people hit the site. We could have filled 900 stadiums. Hi, I'm McCall. This is how I went to four Aerostore concerts in two weeks for only $69. You might want to grab a snack because... Excuse me? Who's Taylor Swift? What the fuck? Famous global superstar Taylor Swift is arguably the biggest artist alive. With smash hits like You Belong With Me, Blank Space, and more, she has won over 500 awards during her career. And her career's not over. But yeah, who's Taylor Swift anyway? Ew. After the Aerostore tickets went live, I'm going back on tour. Ticketmaster sold virtually all of them to bots. <laughs> Allegedly. 14 million people hit the site, including bots. The original price for Aerostore tickets were between $50 and $500, but scalpers resold them for thousands. Some tickets were sold for over $8,000, which left Taylor Swift fans like me helpless. What do I do? Oh my god. I'm a huge Swifty and... Um, excuse me? What's a Swifty? Get out! Get the fuck! Fan bases. You love them or you hate them. Shut up! Taylor Swift fans are called Swifties. Swifties. And they are ride or die. And it's adorable. I've been a Swiftie for over a decade. I'm going to sing Trouble for you. I guess I like that. I've recreated her music videos, attended four of her past tours, and bawled my eyes out to all of her music. I was really sad when I didn't get Taylor Swift tickets, but no one was more devastated than my sister. My sister was diagnosed with Swiftie-itis at the age of nine. Swifties. And once you get it, you can't shake it off. Wink, wink. That was bad. I'm so, I'm sorry. After waiting on the website all day, my sister was not able to purchase Airs tour tickets either. And oh my word, did that girl cry and cry? I felt a responsibility to get her tickets. Tara's World is a viral TikToker well known for how many concerts she attends. I spent $30,599 on Harry concert. In November 2022, she held an Eras Tour ticket giveaway. I get to give away Taylor Swift tickets. I immediately jumped on the opportunity and submitted my sister. She is the biggest Taylor Swift fan you will ever meet. A week later, Tara announced the winner. You guys win. You're going to Taylor Swift. We won! We won! Oh my god! This is freaking crazy. Then for Christmas, my mom surprised us with another show. Then I got a sponsorship to surprise my sister with floor seats. No way! Lastly, we found nosebleeds for $69 through Ticketmaster. So I can say I attended the Eras Tour four times for only $69. What is my life? But nothing could have prepared me for the craziness to come. Preparing for a Taylor Swift concert is a sport. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. Seven days since she left, I'm still amazed. The way she dressed, I mean, woof. Refreshing. No one ever sell to you. Rump, bum, bum, bum. Huh. Who knew what's in the dead could make me feel this way? Now I'm in love and I'm ready to play. Let's go, Barbie. Let's go, Barbie. Entering my girly era, I love it. Next, we're doing my hair. I haven't dyed my hair in eight months. The roots are grown. This is the before of my hair. I already know in three hours my hair is going to look so much better. Think about, think about, think about, think about. I'm here. This is my favorite part of dyeing my hair. The bleach is in, but now we got to settle. I'm sorry. Remember stepping to the club, right? Did you only turn it up? I'm feeling myself. For making friendship bracelets, there's this trend to make friendship bracelets and trade them at tour. I think we're ready. Adventures assemble. <laughs> My glow up is complete. Now it's time we go to the Eras tour. We're leaving for the concert in three hours, which means I'm gonna start getting ready now. We gotta shave and shower. We gotta film our TikToks. We gotta do our makeup. We gotta do our hair. We gotta do our body glitter. There's a lot we gotta do, people. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm out of the shower and step one is crimping my hair. I'm super excited. Let's do it. Much better. These wigs will not fall out. <laughs> Now I gotta do my makeup and I'm gonna be filming a TikTok Get Ready With Me. There's a lot of content that goes into attending the Eras Tour. Okay, this is the setup. Get ready with me for the Eras Tour. Stay tuned for my outfit and the body glitter we are going in tonight. We have 30 minutes until we need to leave. There is a lot to do, but I'm looking cute. The fit, the fit, the fit. We're all pink. I absolutely love it. It's all from Princess Polly. Go to my Instagram and click on this story for all of my outfit info. It is time to go. 
Thank you, Mom. We're going through security. We found our seats, and the concert is going to start in like 10 minutes. The last time I saw Taylor live, I was in high school, and I didn't even have my license. And as corny as it may be, I've listened to Taylor through every stage of my life, which makes this moment so special. You're doing excellent on all fronts. I was born at 1989. The concert's over. These merch lines have been ridiculous, and after the show, they're short. I'm finally about to get some merch. Get unready with me from the Eras tour. It's 1.30 a.m. Truly was the best show I've ever been to. Let's shower. That is so much better. Good night, Taylor Swift Nation. <laughs> it's been great. Our second show gave me a crazy idea. I'm getting ready for our second Eras concert. Woo! We are going to LA night two, and we gotta get ready. You know the drill, we have a lot to do. Three hours later. A lot has happened since you last saw me, hi. Sorry, I've just been filming six different TikToks. Every night, Taylor gives her hat to a fan selected from the audience. Taylor does not do meet and greets on the Eras tour, so this is the only opportunity to meet her. And I plan to do everything I can to try to get my sister that hat, because who doesn't love a good challenge? We are ready for our second concert. Tonight, I'm going as Evermore, and I really love the way it turned out. I'm so excited. <laughs> Information about this outfit on this story. My plan is to make a video directed to Taylor Swift and her team explaining why I think my sister should receive the hat. You will make me the coolest sister if this happens. Just consider it. We love you. If it's compelling enough, other Swifties might join the cause. Let's get in the car. We're at the stadium, you guys. She's a part of me. I don't want to go. My sister is asleep and I am editing the video. It's the day of our third show and I posted the video this morning and it immediately went viral. Dear Taylor Swift, this is why you should choose my sister to receive the 22 hat. You follow her on Tumblr and y'all have engaged 10 times but you've never met. My sister and I got pretty last minute tickets to the show tonight and I don't have an outfit planned. With all the attention on my TikTok, I've decided to grind out upwards of seven TikToks about the show. This is a hustle, okay? I still have no idea what I'm wearing. I think this is the one. I love it. Not too bad for last minute. I think we're ready. Here I come, Taylor. Those are going viral too. Dear Taylor Swift, this is why you should choose my sister to receive the 22 hat. It has 8,000 comments tagging them. True. I posted a last minute TikTok and it's at 1,000 views in three minutes. What? We're in section 453, yeah. top of the stadium, waiting for a miracle. Come on, Taylor Nation. How do you feel? I'm just happy to be here. I really am. Regardless of what happens with this hat, we are so happy to be here. You will miss it if you don't care. It's 1 a.m. We didn't get chosen for the 22 hat, but we literally had the time of our lives. Did you have fun? So much fun. We have one more show, and this one is Taylor's last one in the U.S. It is closing night. I feel like something crazy is gonna happen. While my content was going viral, it reached a certain kind of audience, one filled with teenage boys and white family men. The main criticism I have received is that my love for Taylor and her music is weird and wrong. Sure, it's a little crazy, but you know what else is crazy? Crying when your favorite team loses the Super Bowl. The guys also said that my merch was embarrassing. You know what else is embarrassing? Wearing another man's name on your back. According to them, going to the concert multiple times was insane, but you know what else is insane? Watching sporting events every single night and allowing your mood to be dictated on how well your team does. And then there are the comments saying, I shouldn't look up to Taylor Swift because of her love life. Humor me this, how many athletes do you know that have cheated on their girlfriend? Actually, how many do you know that have cheated on their wife? That's what I thought. I'm just saying we might have more in common than you think. But let me guess, you watch sports because it's motivational and inspirational, but that's what Taylor Swift is to me. Listen, I'm a sports fan myself. I don't yell at my TV or anything, but I enjoy sports. So I'll let you do your thing if you let me do mine. Fans, including me, have been speculating that Taylor Swift might drop an album at tonight's show. Whew. Taylor is re-recording her old albums. Why? Her masters were sold to Scooter Braun, but she's allowed to re-release them to own the rights. One of her most popular albums, 1989, is predicted to be the next re-recording she releases. The date of this last concert is August 9th, aka 0809, aka 89 for 1989. I just had my Legally Blonde moment. What, like it's hard? No biggie, just a potential album release. We have floor seats, all my content is going viral. All of my prayers are being answered. Let's go to this freaking show. 
Today's the day. Dear Taylor Swift has 15,000 comments tagging Taylor Swift and Taylor Nation. In my mind, it's a fact that Taylor Nation has seen it. Whether or not they choose us, it's 1140 and I gotta start getting ready. Let's do it one more time. I've been planning my costume for months. Literally having the best week of my life. Makeup is done, now I'm doing my transitions. You know the routine. Time for lyrics on the arm. Baby with the new romantics. Eight, nine believer. All right, y'all, I think we're ready. Here I come, Taylor! Information about this outfit on this story. We are on our way to the stadium right now. Are you excited? So excited. We got recognized. Ah. What? Things keep getting crazier. Are you those scissors from TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> We're in. I'm dying. We got our floor wristbands. Ah. We're in the tunnel. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's going to be right there. What is our life right now? Right there, she is right there. It's not what you think it's gonna be like. The red set starts, and my sister does not receive the 22 hat, but this adorable little girl does, and she truly deserves it. Taylor Swift has set costumes that she wears every night, but for this show, our show, she's changing some of the costumes to blue. And blue is the color of 1989. It's happening, people. <laughs> She about to announce an album while I'm in the audience. Here we are, the last night of the U.S. leg of the Eras tour in the eighth month of the year. <laughs> On the ninth day. And I think instead of just like telling you about it, I think I'll just oh my God. show you. Bucketless items I didn't even know I had were just checked off. It's 2 a.m. She announced 1989 tonight. I had the best time of my life. Words cannot even describe how blessed I feel to have been able to experience all of this. My Eras Tour TikToks got 20 million views in 48 hours. The love has been insane, you guys. I truly just want to extend the biggest freaking thank you I ever could and give you a virtual hug. Come on, come here. If you haven't been able to attend the Ares tour, I want you to know that I am praying for you, and I mean that genuinely. Prayers will be said for you. I hope you are able to experience it. The intention behind her tour is insane, from the lighting, the costumes, the band, the dancers, her vocals, her dancing, everything is perfect. I'm experiencing Ares tour withdrawals, but that is all from me, so please make sure you subscribe for more stories and adventures. Thank you so much for hanging out. I love you guys. Mwah.